Hi guys, so today I have a video sponsored by Tonic Studios and they did send these items free of charge from my review and all uh, opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you were purchased items to those links. But this is this month's designer's choice. Um, it says number 16. It is the Vibrant Votive Holder. Did I say that right? Vibrant Votive Holder. And let me open this up and we'll check it out and we'll try it out. So, as you guys know, with the uh, Designer's Choice, it comes out every month. Um, it's in the U.S. It's $19.99. It's a little bit, I think it might be the same, but in pounds in the U.K. I do have links for both the U.S. and the U.K. there for you guys to check out. Um, and it has a reduced shipping price. Of course, if you order other things at the same time, you know, that's a little bit different. But it is something you pick up every month as you go along, if you like. It's not a membership club. So, uh, this is just another beautiful... Um, edition right here so as you can see this is going to hold a votive or however you want to use them you can use it for different things but that's what it is designed for we have our little hexagon shape here we have our uh, pieces so we will need to cut three of this outer die so that they can cover all six sides here um, gorgeous inserts and again with uh, you know tonic they do things like this like I believe they call them their verso dies where you have the inserts or inlays and not you can use it however you like you can don't have to use it like this one it's just the inlay here. We can do the inlay with the outer die. We have a little, um, I suppose like a little holder here, um, a handle, really sweet. Um, this looks like just a piece of um, like lace almost, you know, like a ribbon, really, really pretty. Um, different little inserts for these words here that you have this little uh, tag here. We have some more pieces that you can work with in or out, however you want to do it. All kinds of cute little extra bits. We have some little um, cut-ins and it looks like this one's also a cut-in, let me see. Right there, that uh, helps you out with this one. So what I'm gonna do is grab some paper. Oh, we also have a square here. I totally skipped over. Look at that. And then there's <laughs> three different uh, dies there for that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is grab some papers and just get started. See so what I'm gonna do since we noticed that little square last. I think I'm gonna make a square votive. So this will be my base. Just like if you were to use this as your base, you're gonna cut three of these for to cover all the sides. With this one, I just need two. So I'm gonna cut that base. I'm gonna cut this out, but I also want the inlay. So on the first pass, I'm going to cut out one with the inlay, just so it's, it's already done. So I'll do something like this. We'll tape it down. And then um, it's gonna come out and it's gonna have the inlay on the one side, but the other side's not gonna have the inlay yet. And then I'll run it through again without this die, but just the inlay. So it cuts on both sides. Cuts out on both sides. I hope that makes sense. So I'll have this guy here too. I'm gonna run these through. So when I come back, I'll have two of these with the inlays cut in on both sides, and I'll yeah, be. I decided to go ahead and show you guys what I mean by this. So I'm doing a little white on white, white votive. I thought that'd be cute. So actually, I don't need this one. I need to remove this. Oh, so pretty and so delicate. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do is keep this on here so I know where it was. I'm gonna clean this out, take all the little pieces out of the die, and then I'm just going to put this piece back in here and remove this outer die. You don't have to use it, I guess, if you don't want to use it as a guide, but, um, so clean this out, and then I'm just gonna run this back through on this side so that this piece will cut into this side, okay? Okay, guys, I actually went ahead and cut two of the square because I do like to kind of nestle another square in there just to keep it nice and sturdy. So we have our pieces here. So what we're gonna do is just fold it on the score lines. Uh, I'm folding it now just because it's easier since the pieces are separate. But we are gonna glue the pieces together. So just score all these little score lines. I'll do the same thing for the other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and score these two, even though we're gonna glue these together on these score lines. It's just easier to do it now, just to have them ready. And I'll do the same thing with the other one, and I'll be right back. I did also cut that one little piece that I said looked like a little strap. And so basically, if I'm gonna use that and just planning ahead, you know, this is gonna be like this. And if I wanna use the little um, strap on there, you can put little um, holes you know, on either side. I guess you could also find an area, but what I'm just gonna do is just right now, while this is free, put a little tiny hole in there that my brad is gonna go through later. And I want to put it through that one and then through the one that's opposite. Okay, just putting a little hole. That way I don't have to do that later and then possibly, you know, damage our little project. So let's get that going now. 
And I'm gonna glue these guys together. Now, of course, it's up to you how you like. I like using a wet glue. Um, you know, I'm gonna glue these together in the shape that they need to be in. If you wanna stick them down to the base first, however it is that you want to do it, whatever's easiest for you will be great. So I'm gonna hold this down since it is a wet glue. And then I'll come around to the other side and put some glue here and hold them close there. Okay, super easy. Look how pretty that is. I, I even, I just got to work and then without enjoying and appreciating how pretty this is. <laughs> so gorgeous. And so I'm just gonna put some glue across the bottom here and just add on one of the bottom pieces. And then I'll do the same thing. Just put a little bit of glue as I can, probably on this guy put the glue on here and then push it down in the center when I'm ready to pop that in. And I'll be right back. Have some glue on there. I'll just push this in down to the center here. And I'll have that there and it'll be get extra sturdy. Okay ladies, so there is that. Look how gorgeous that is. Now of course I'm gonna put the little handle. You don't have to do that. That just adds a little something more. I do have some cute little brads here that I thought were um, really pretty the last time I used these little heart brads. And so I'm just going to add that. There's different ways you can do this. You don't have to use that at all, but I am going to put that on there. And I'll fidget with those in just a minute to make them go the right way, the little hearts. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And you know, this is really adorable to make like a basket with the uh, hexagon there. And then I just happen to have some votives here. Um, I did, I was like, well, it's not working. It had that little plastic tab that you had to pull away. And there it is. Oopsie. And look at that. Let me turn off my lights and hopefully you can see it a little better. A little better. How pretty is that going to be in the evening? Oh, how cute. So again, I would not put a candle in here that you're going to burn. <laughs> I would use something like this. Is um, Look at that. It even flickers. So cute. Wow. Adorable. So what I'm going to do is probably try out the hexagon. Um, I'll probably just work on it right now with some music and things because the kids are home. And so I have to uh, move along with that. But um, basic construction is going to be exactly the same. You're just going to do whatever it is that you want to do with your inserts. Um, so I'll cut again three of these. Um, maybe you don't want to use that as a votive. Maybe you just want to use it as a basket. So that's what I'll probably do. I'm going to cut three full solid pieces just like this. It's going to make my six sides. And then I'll cut out some of these pretty ladies here. Um, you can also, you know, it, with your decoration, you're going to mat that in there. Maybe you want these little lower ones. Maybe you want this up here. However you want to use it. I mean, again, the Verso, there's just tons of ways of using these uh, dies. So thank you so much, uh, Tonic, for sponsoring the video. Um, guys, I'll have the links in the description box. Again, this is not a monthly thing where you sign up. You're just going to pick it up uh, month by month. I know I do have questions about that. Sometimes people say, oh, I thought I was getting this and I didn't. But it's it's because you have to pick it up as, as you feel like. So every month you, you'll pick this one up. The only one that's a membership that's a monthly thing is the craft kit. If you want it that way, you can also do a one-off purchase or uh, the membership, of course. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that answers your questions. This is really sweet. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to take pictures in the evening with these. So I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.